Hey, how's it going? I've been sitting here for a while now trying to come up with a good intro for this video and nothing's coming to me. So I figure you read the video title, you know what it's about. So we'll just get started. Recently, I made a video where I swapped uh, the old one terabyte hard drive out of my laptop for a new 500 gigabyte SSD. If you haven't seen that video yet and are interested in checking it out, you can click on it up here in the cards and give it a look. And for those of you that have already seen it, well, thanks for watching. And if you'd like to watch it again, you can totally do that. Anyway, once I'd swapped the drives out, I had this perfectly good one terabyte hard drive just sitting there, lonely and depressed, uh, like me at my senior prom. I of course know that it would be a travesty to let all those wonderful bits and bytes just sit idle, so I did what any self-respecting geek would do and decided to give the drive a new life as an external hard drive. Now before I go too much further here, uh, there's two things that I'd like to share with you in this video today. The, the first is what all stuff you're going to need to turn your old hard drive into an external drive, and the second is how to delete all the partitions on your old drive and format it so that it's all pristine and beautiful and ready for, for you to load it up with all of your important data. So the first thing you're going to need to turn your old laptop hard drive into an external drive is of course an old laptop drive. The second thing you're going to need is a 2.5 inch SATA USB 3.0 hard drive enclosure like this one from Orico or you can simply use a USB 3.0 to 2.5 inch SATA hard drive cable like this one. I purchased both of these on Amazon and have included links to both in the video description if uh, you'd like to pick one up. I should let you know that these cables are only able to supply enough power for a laptop style 2.5 inch drive and do not work with standard 3.5 inch desktop style hard drives. Now I'm sure you guys can figure out that the uh, cable and the enclosure work pretty much identically to one another. You simply plug the terminals on your hard drive into the corresponding sockets on the enclosure or cable. And then you take that ever so familiar USB dongle end and uh, then plug that into your computer. And voila! That concludes this first portion of the video. The second part of the video where we're going to remove the partitions on the drive and format it is a little bit more complicated than the first part, but if you follow along with me here, it'll be easy peasy. Uh, also, before continuing, you'll obviously want to back up all of the files off of your old hard drive that uh, you want to keep because we're going to be formatting the drive, thus deleting everything on it. But you don't need me to tell you that. You already know that. Everything that I'm about to show you right now, I actually already did on my old one terabyte drive, but luckily I have an even older 320 gigabyte drive that I can use for this walkthrough. Now, you'll notice when I first connect the drive to my computer that it recognizes it as two separate drives and brings up windows for both of them. One is called OS and the other one Recovery. It does this because when the laptop manufacturer installed Windows, they created what is called a partition onto the drive. Uh, partitioning is just a way of setting aside some of the space on the disk where you can use that for whatever you want to use it for. You see it all the time in pre-built computers like laptops where they install the operating system onto one partition and then have a smaller separate partition called recovery where they install the necessary files and whatnot there. So in the event you get a really bad virus or have some other kind of problem with your computer where you need to reset it back to how it was when you first bought it, 
uh, then that's an easy way for you to be able to do that. Anyway, you can see here that I still have all of the old data and whatnot. Uh, and what I want to do is delete all of this stuff as well as delete the partitions on the drive so I have a single 320 gigabyte drive. Uh, it, in the case of my one terabyte drive, I was wanting to have a single one terabyte drive. Um, so from here, let's open up disk management by right clicking on the Windows icon in the bottom left of the screen and then uh, selecting disk management from the list. The disk management window will then open up. Uh, it may take a little bit to load up, but once it does, you should have something that looks like this. Uh, let me just expand the window a little bit. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is a list of all the drives that I currently have connected to my system. And uh, of course, when you do this, you will see all the drives connected to your system. You'll want to locate your old uh, laptop drive. I know the drive letters for mine are F and H, which is disk three right here. Uh, now you'll notice it's showing three different partitions on the drive. When you right click on them, it gives you some options. Uh, the first thing I want to do is delete all the partitions. Deleting the recovery and OS partitions is going to be pretty easy. All we need to do is right click on one of them and select delete volume. It will then ask you if you really want to delete it because you will of course lose any data that may be on the drive, but we've already backed everything up and are ready to do this. So you can click yes and now you'll see that the partition now reads as being unallocated. Now that we got that all done, we can right click on the other partition and a new option uh, should be available to us called extend volume. Click on that and the extend volume wizard will appear. Uh, click next and it will bring you to a window where you can select which other partitions on the drive you want to add to your partition. I only have one other partition that can be selected, so it automatically adds that one to the list. So I just need to click next once again and then click finish. Okay, so it looks like that operation is not supported by the object. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna see if uh, deleting the OS partition will then allow us to do it. So let's uh, go on down here. We're gonna click on our OS partition and uh, we're going to click delete volume on that guy and click yes. Um, let's see here. Uh, it gives us a little warning here. The simple partition, simple volume is currently in use to force the blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we'll click yes. Okay, there we go. It has a uh, merge them into one unallocated space and uh, we now have two partitions left on the drive. We got our big unallocated partition and then this annoying little 100 megabyte OEM partition that uh, is seemingly impossible to get rid of. I could just go merrily on my way and say, you know, it's only 100 megabytes, but darn it, I'm a data miser and I want all 320 gigs, not 319.9. So to reclaim that last 100 megabytes, we're going to have to get a little bit nerdier and open up disk part. Now tap the Windows key on your keyboard and then type D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. Hit enter or just click on disk part on the list and click yes and now you'll see this command prompt. In the command line, type list disk. Now you'll see a list of all the drives on your computer, similar to the one in disk management. And I'm uh, going to type select disk three. You'll want to, of course, put in whatever the number is for your drive. Now, in order to delete that pesky partition, we need to know which partition it is. To see a list of all the partitions on the drive, we'll type list partition. And now you should see a list of all the partitions on the drive. Uh, I want that OEM partition gone, 
So to do that, I first need to select that partition by typing select partition one. Again, you'll want to enter the number that corresponds to whichever partition you want to delete from your own drive. Uh, it will then tell you your desired partition has been selected. And now the only thing that's left is to delete the partition by typing delete partition override. It will then tell you disk part has successfully deleted the selected partition. Hooray! If you have more than one of these types of partitions, you'll need to repeat this process uh, for each one of them by first selecting the partition and then typing delete partition override just like we just did. Uh, on my one terabyte drive, I actually had to do this for six different partitions <laughs> that HP had initially set up on it. With all of our partitions now deleted, we'll need to return to disk management. And uh, we'll come here to our disk. So what we need to do now is uh, right click on it, click on new simple volume, and then our new welcome to the new simple volume wizard pops up. And we'll click next here, and then it just kind of tells us, you know, how much space we have and asks us, you know, uh, the simple volume size that we want to, and I want it to be the maximum, so we've got it set at, uh, what, 305,243 megabytes. Uh, we'll click next there. Uh, at this point, you can assign a drive letter, whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to leave it at the default at F. Um, there's a couple other options you can do here. Those are for, you know, people that are, uh, you know, a little more advanced, and if, uh, you probably won't be watching this video if you guys know what to do with these. Um, so anyway, let's uh, just click next now. Um, uh, everything here we can just leave it default. We can give the drive a name if we'd like to. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave everything at default uh, and say just call it new volume here. We're going to perform a quick format on the drive. Uh, click next. And then this is just telling us everything we've chosen to do. And then we click finish. And right now it is formatting, and boom, there it is. The format's done, and our drive is fully ready to fill with all of that important data that uh, you've been collecting, or whatever. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and uh, watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If so, please give that thumbs up button a click, if uh, you have a question for me, or you just feel like saying hello, the comments section down below is ready and waiting for you. Uh, I also promise to do my best to answer your questions and acknowledge any greetings that you may send my way. Uh, if you liked what you saw here today and would like to see more, please consider subscribing to my channel. I've got other videos you can check out there, as well as some new ones on the way. Uh, thanks again so much for watching. I hope that you have a great day, and I look forward to hanging out with you again next time. Catch you later.